My name is Reet Medirata. I'm 21 years old. I've just graduated from Experian School of Global Management and have done my majors in marketing. I'm currently working with a tech company known as Urban Company and I'm working as a business development strategist there. Full of excitement, experiences, uh, being global as a student and just it, it shaped me in many many different ways uh, as a person uh, in terms of my career and in terms of just emotionally, physically, traveling. It, it shaped me as an overall individual author. Actually in Singapore I decided to take it all in and uh, not work all together. Whereas uh, when I came to Dubai, it was first year done, all the fun done and decided to get a little bit more serious. So in Dubai, I interned at SP Journal South with Professor Sylvia Vianello uh, as a teacher assistant with her. And after that, I also worked with Hult International Business School as a teacher assistant because I'd already got the experience. Once I moved forward to Sydney, that's where all the internships, the work, everything began because Sydney is the place where once you come, you have to sustain yourself to work in a way. And also it was uh, a lot of different departments you could work with here. They had, a, it was vast in terms of work experience. So I did internships in sales, retail, um, business development, operations, marketing, all of these departments to be honest with different companies. So it was pretty great once I came to Sydney. After Singapore, I think within Singapore, I remember taking so many flights to different countries. Uh, I, I remember counting and telling my dad since I went to uni, I have been to Thailand, Bali. Uh, then in the break, I went to New York. I also went to uh, Paris. And um, what else? Even Dubai. From Dubai, I took a lot of trips uh, around, but they were almost to the same place as Thailand, Bali again. And um, Okay, then it was Sydney and in Sydney definitely a lot of road trips. Uh, in fact, last week I went to Melbourne and uh, before that it was Tasmania or Perth and, and just basically take a car, drive and go wherever you can in Sydney. Yeah. Definitely uh, you do not realize it when you're in that classroom but when you meet these people from these different countries you definitely learn a lot about their cultures and this really helped me in my workplace because when I went into my workplace it wasn't just me or uh, another person it was everyone again from different cultures and it really helped me to just settle down there easily and just be warm with them from the start because I, it wasn't an uncomfortable thing it was just so easy to be like, okay, I've been with different people. It's easy for me to talk uh, the way they talk. I know a little bit about their culture, so if I can share and get to know more within the workplace. So it kind of just blended all together from the classroom to the workplace all together. Definitely one thing I'd say is, since the faculty was from uh, worldwide, they brought their cultures along with them and they not only taught us about uh, the subject that they were teaching but rather also about uh, their own culture. So I remember Professor Nick in uh, Sydney over here, he's actually from France, Morocco, these mixes and uh, in between he used to start talking in French and he'd teach us these few words in and around in French and he'd tell us all about their food cultures and just being able to have different professors from different backgrounds whether it was from uh, the east to west not anywhere it just helped me as an individual altogether to uh, know that learning can be in many different languages and many different cultures and it's not just the subject you're learning but you're also learning about how uh, people come from different places Definitely it's people, uh, the warmth that all our professors, our faculty, uh, Preeti all together, uh, Meghna in Dubai, um, it, it's just how lovely and warm and caring the people around here are. They're much more like family rather than 
a professor who you can just call sir. Definitely, I address them as Preeti and Meghna, so it gives uh, a little sense of they're your friends first and they're your faculty afterwards. Uh, whereas, to add on, I'd just say it's with the people, it's also the fact that we're traveling, so they're there for us the entire time. and. Oh, it's not just if I need someone in Sydney, I have to reach out to one person. If I become close to someone in Dubai, I can still call them back. And it's, it's just the warmth of being here. Definitely at this point in time, after my graduation, what I'm looking forward to is to meet my parents. Uh, the main part here is since COVID has happened, uh, I had to always decided to work here for a while but now I wasn't able to go home at all to see them so never got that break so what I'm looking forward to is definitely seeing my parents.